I'm home. But first thing I want to say is I want to thank Dr. Crow, Ray Anderson, Gene Boyd, Marcus Williams. I mean, this is literally home. Home. No emotion in football. <laughs> His wife's been at it all morning, so he had to catch up. <sighs> so I say that because this place is special. The state is special. The people in this room are special. I got guys in my wedding right there. <laughs> Pretty emotional, right? It's just who I am. The one thing you're gonna get from me, okay? I am who I am. I am who I am. I'm gonna be the same person every single day I show up to work. I'm gonna be fired up to be here, fired up to be a Sun Devil. And this place, what this place needs to be successful, it's already been successful, we've seen it. The leadership from top to bottom is in line. That's why I'm here right now. The leadership from top to bottom is in line. We need this entire valley to come together. You wanna to win at the highest level. You wanna maximize this place. We need everybody in this room, positive things, positive things. We need everybody in this room to get involved. If you don't know how to get involved, how do you get involved? This is one of the biggest metropolitan areas in the country. It's growing at a rapid rate. We need the valley behind us. We need the state behind us. We need butts in seats. We need everything that this valley has all in. Yeah, I mean, just like I said, being genuine. I think being genuine is the most important thing. Whether people like you, they don't like you, I think you just gotta be who you are every single day. Um, you know, I, I joke around, I'm brutally honest with people, whether they like it or not, but I'm gonna give you the truth. Uh, and then just going to work and, I, I, I always talk to our players about, you know, falling in love with the process of growth. Like, do you have a passion to get better? Do you fall in love with the process of, if you turn your foot in just a quarter of an inch, it's gonna prevent fall steps if you play wide receiver. And do you watch the tape and do you fall in love with the process? Do you get excited about that? Because if you don't, then you're worried about the wrong things. You better get excited about the details, excited about the little things. Because if you are, you're just going to get better and better and better and better. And that's just what I did. Every single day, I just got excited about getting a little bit better. Games. Little and bit. then how will you recruit this Valley? Oh, we're going to recruit it with all hands on deck. Could you ask me a question? Could you ask me one more question? Sure. Are we, could you ask me if we're retaining Sean Aguano? Are you retaining Sean yes, Aguano? Yes, we are retaining Sean Aguano. <laughs> So that's step one. Sean's done an absolutely remarkable job here. As a person, everybody in this valley respects him. Anybody who's ever met him respects him. And I couldn't be happier. You know, one of the first people I saw when I got here was, was Coach Aguano, and it just, he brings a joy to you when you, walk, when you see him in the room. And there's not many people who can do that, you know, young men. And that's why, like, for me, this program that we're going to have here is going to be based off of the word life. People here, when you think of Sun Devil football, you think of Sun Devil for life. We're going to be focused on the little things. We're going to have an intensity about ourselves. We're going to, we're going to be focused on family, and we're going to be educated. And when a kid leaves here, he's going to know what we're going to be lifers, and he's going to know how to respond to adversity, and he's going to know what success looks like. And if I ask everybody in this room what success looks like, they're all going to give a different answer. Everybody in here, success for you is completely different. We're going to define it as one way in this program. That's just being the very best that you can be at whatever task you're doing. So activate the valley. Time. Time. Relationships. When you really think about anything in life, it comes into time. And your time decides the, the matter of importance. If you put your time in one thing more than you put your time in another, that's the level of importance that means to you. I'm going to spend time building relationships with people in the valley. Right, I already have a lot of them, but I'm going to spend time, I'm going to work, and our staff, our staff is going to be people who will build relationships in this valley because they love this valley. They love the Phoenix metropolitan area, they love this state, and they're going to do everything they can to make this place uh, one of the best schools in college football. You have to recruit to the place. 
because kids still have to live where they go to school. I think so much in recruiting, you know, when you're recruiting a kid, you know, at some of these places, you try to distract them, right, from the reality of living there, right? And in reality, this is one of the greatest places to live in the country. And the best schools and the best teams have the best players. And all people have to do is say, hey, we're the best players, and we want to live in arguably one of the best cities. And then guess what you're going to have? One of the best teams. It's really that simple. We are all Arizona, I mean, Arizona State grad, Arizona State grad, Arizona State grad, Arizona State grad, right? So it was just super exciting. I mean, big hugs. I mean, I, I finally got to eat Ajo Owls salsa again, right? I'm a big Ajo Owls fan. I finally got home, and we had Ajo Owls salsa at home last night at, at 1030, right? So that fired me up. But the emotions were, were real, right? That this is, a, this is a dream that not just I had, everybody had, and here we are. Right, the staff we're going to produce, right, is built with good people, and that's the number one thing I will not budge on. Is we're going to have people who want to help kids grow into men and be successful in life. And I think for us, us already already being here, the a lot of our staff, you know, we're going to be rooted in Arizona. We're going to hire a staff that has roots here, that has connections, right? And how do you sign kids? How do you how do you build a roster? Relationship. Because what happens in recruiting is you have a whole bunch of people tell kids what they want to hear for two, three years. And in the past, those kids would get told what they wanted to hear and they'd get stuck. But now they're stuck and they're trapped. Now, you, you better be the person you say you were. You better, you know, come through with those promises. I am a firm believer in the transfer portal, right, for that reason, is it gives the power to the kids. And that's who needs the power in this deal. That's who this is all about. It's about the players. It's about the kids. And for me, we're going to attack the transfer portal. We're ready when everybody's ready. We need everybody. It can't be, oh, uh, thank you. Okay, that's good. We just got a million dollars. That's unbelievable right there. Well, where else is it coming from? Like, like we just said, he did that to inspire everybody else. What are you doing? You may just buy season tickets. You may just buy season tickets to hockey or baseball. You may show up to wrestling. Whatever that is, what can you do for this program? Not There's a reason for that, not by accident. You got great weather. If you're a quarterback, why would you not want to play where there's no elements, right? That's just the reality of it. You don't play in elements. If you're a skill guy, why would you want to go play in snow? If you run track here, why would you want to run track in the cold? You have unbelievable weather for all skilled players to always play without elements. That's a competitive advantage at its own. So for us, not just the living here, but the actual natural geographic advantages we have here, right, should actually attract skilled players to the university. Let's see what it says on the back. <laughs> Somewhere inside we... Oh, well, yeah. Somewhere inside we hear a voice leads us into the direction of the person we wish to become, but it is up to us whether or not to follow.